need some oxygen, hurry. This will be a good time to give testimony. Amen. You know, my story is probably like way out there. But I was raised in a Christian home. My father uh, was a Baptist minister for over 40 years, so you can imagine I was raised in a Christian home and the strictness and everything that came with that. And I remember as a young girl, because I was struggling as a teenager, and back then, when you were the pastor's kid, you weren't allowed any grace. You had to be perfect. It was just the way it was. You know, I, I every, everybody else's kids could do all kinds of stuff in the church, but the pastor's kid had to live a certain way. That's the kind of fellowship that I grew up in. And <clears throat> I remember running away from home, and I remember meeting my husband at that time, and I remember he was one of the biggest heroin addicts and heroin dope dealers in East Los Angeles, he's from Maravilla. And I had no idea what I was getting into, but uh, I married him and we had children together and I remember I packed up and I left the house when I was like 19. I said, I can't do this no more because there was so much drugs and so much guns running up all through my house. And I didn't want to raise my kid like that. You know, I didn't want to raise my kid in the body of I already knew that in that type of lifestyle that it would be, he would grow up in an environment that I would regret for the rest of my life. And so I gave my life to the Lord when I was 19 years old. And I was a heroin addict and I was strung out. And um, my husband got saved and we went into ministry. And we did dynamic things for the kingdom of God. We took a church, a small church in Fresno, and we pastored there for five years. And then God called us to the mission field. We went into St. Petersburg, Russia for another three and a half years. And so I know what it is to live in another culture and not speak the language and God be your defender and him going before you because you had to trust God for every little thing in those foreign countries. And then I remember coming back from the United States and I took another small church and uh, in Long Beach and we were popping and everything was moving and then the enemy came in and destroyed my life. And I used to blame so and so and I used to blame this person and that person but in reality I was rotten on the inside. I'm being transparent with you today because there's a reason behind my story. I was rotten on the inside and I let the enemy come in and destroy my entire family. I lost my marriage, I lost my children, and I ended up doing seven years behind prison walls. Crazy, huh? How the mighty had fallen. But I'm gonna tell you something. When God calls you, and his gifts to you are irrevocable. He never takes them back. I remember crying out to God in a prison cell, saying, God, I don't want nothing from you. All I want is my family. Can you give me my family back? And God has done that. God has restored my life. I say all that to say this. Cherish your relationship with God because the enemy comes like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And because I look good on the outside, it doesn't matter. It's what's on the inside. Where are you today in Jesus Christ? The enemy wants to come and sift you as wheat. Take what you have. He didn't have to go far because I gave it to him. But God said, I'm going to restore your life. And the latter will be better than the beginning. The latter will be better than the beginning. And that's what God has done in my life. He has restored my life in so many different ways. I'm walking around in success in Jesus Christ because God to that 
But I'm a blessed woman today. Amen. And no matter how the enemy comes and he tries to make you and I feel unworthy, we are worthy of the blood of Jesus Christ. Because when he looks upon us, all he sees is his blood upon our lives. Not one ounce of God's love will ever diminish. Not one ounce of it. And I'm a living proof that God is in the restoring business. I took it to a whole new, different level. But if I could save someone from getting to that level, I've done my job. I've done my job. I transparent because I don't want people to fall. Because we can't fall. We're f our flesh is something else. Our flesh and between our flesh and Satan, we're doomed to hell. We're driven to hell. But God steps in and he fixes and he cleans the house and he puts, his, puts lives back in order. Yeah. I'm grateful to him for who I am today in Christ. I lack nothing. Nothing. I don't lack because my father owns this universe. Yeah. Hallelujah. Please pray for me. I am trying to get into an area of San Diego that's very, very difficult. But God has put this area in my life because there's women and God is already preparing those hearts in that area. I'm going to come in and reap all that very soon. So everlasting to everlasting, please keep that in your prayers that God will continue to work in the supernatural so that I can get my breakthrough for my ministry. And thank you to these wonderful pastors who invited me to come.
I, all the CDs that weren't, that are, they're going to be selling are awesome. They're great. But I, when well, she blessed us with a CD that she gave us, we, we have heard that CD for months and months and months. We played it and played it and played it over. So I already know the, the, the words to them. It's awesome. It'll bless you. Amen. So will everybody else. Amen. Amen. And I think they brought some CDs. They're in the back, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Did you, Mo and Brother Eddie, too? Yeah, they're going to set them up, but uh, we're, we're going to continue with the service, and we're going to let uh, Brother Eddie and the rest of the Jesus crew come back up and close out the service. Yeah, come on up, brother. Amen. Just hold on. It's going to be good. Trust me. It's been good so far. Amen. Amen. James, can you turn your PA off when we play? Because it picks up. Oh, you know what? The only thing that I've, you turn off the other mics, but we're using a race, right? That was 15? Thank you. 
future. Thank mm-hmm. you. 